Hello everyone, Luke Full Smith here. It's the 1st of February 2023. Uh, the first day of a 28 day month. <laughs> um, the Encyclopedia Dramatica reading. Um, no, it's not an update video for February, that's tomorrow. So, Kiro the Wolf, I have heard of him a few times. He likes to be the old diddler of the dogs. He 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 like he likes to fuck animals. He's a furry and likes to fuck animals. It's a, no surprise there. <laughs> um, so make sure my audio levels are fine and let us go. A little bit of a lengthy one. So there you go. For the other paedophile, also known as Kero C Evil. Okay. Uh, this is the main one that I wanted to do, and his address is like right up there because lots of people have doxed him and probably swatted him but I'm not quite sure about the swatting bit because um shouldn't swat people doxing paedophiles and zoophiles is absolutely fine with me but swatting that can get people even innocent people killed this person is a sick fuck for we know that we got a quote I did not have sexual relations with that roadkill <laughs> is that a piss take off of um, Bill Clinton Kiro the Wolf trying to defend himself but <coughs> failing miserably. Well, you're using a quote that Bill Clinton said um, when he fucked his secretary. Kiro the Wolf, power, power word, Joshua Hoffman, formerly known as Yami the Wolf, is a 27 year old fur fag YouTuber from Pennsylvania who decided fucking his dog would be a great idea. He was generally regarded as a respected member of the furry community until info leaked from his Twitter account indicating that he has practiced zoophilia and necrophilia. Fucking hell, necrophilia. So he did fuck road roadkill and dead animals. Ugh. That's like one of the worst kinks you can ever have, necrophilia is. As well as having a war fetish. Well, 50-50 on Vore. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. The non-fatal ones is um, alright. The fatal ones puts me off. There has even been talks of Kyo's alleged involvement in paedophilia. You doing the math, Phil? He's a furry, so... I'm pretty sure he is a kiddie diddler. His dog, Koda, recently died of kidney, kidney fat. Oh, poor dog. Poor little dog, poor little dog. And Kyra had no problem with admitting that he raped his dog on a regular basis. Fucking hell. I'd punch this guy in the face if he was real right now. In now infamous Telegram chat, he expressed concern about his friends raping and dismembering his dog and then killing it. That's fucking disgusting. His friends assured that they would never do that without his permission. For some odd reason, Kiro, being a sick necrozoophile, came as a shock to the furry community. This is odd considering all furries fuck their pets and animals, as zoophilia is a right for pa is a right for pa pa of pa passage for their community. Well, it is mostly true. I mean, there is some furries that actually do good for the community, and they got a, a clean background and stuff. And then you get them fucking dodgy ones. And I have met some fucking weirdos in my life. Jesus Christ. <coughs> okay, so we got the real name. Joshua Hoffman, nationality America. Current residence, Pitts Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Former Alice's, um, Yami the Wolf. YouTube, Kyle the Wolf. Twitter, Kyle the Wolf. Twitch, Kyle the Wolf. Um, Kiwi Farms, Fred, um, that. Before YouTube, Cairo started out just. Oh, I mean, just give me a second. And he don't. Yeah, it's fine. I'll get paranoid. I'm not recording for some reason. Cairo start, started out um, as any other typical furry would. He lived the average life of a deer and art furry by sucking these books from downy furries. He was also a user on Furus Finity and Telegram, where he went by the name of Yami the Wolf. Um, I will be doing um, the article of Fur Affinity um, at a later date, but not as yet. 
Um, I'll explain it in my update video tomorrow. At some point in his internet life, Yami reclaimed his name to Kiro, is also known as he is also known as today. As as it's to be expected of most all furries, Kiro spent and continued to spend most of his time enthusiastically talking about raping animals in graphic detail, detail and role playing as other equally degrading degenerate fair fags on telegram and he never once thought that this could be incriminating yet yeah, do not post about your criminal activities online in other words his days on youtube the history on july 7th 2013 10 years ago in a few months Kuro started his youtube channel which was dedicated to doing things differently and differently they, they were, most furries don't actually fuck dogs or get caught. Ha ha ha, disregard that I cloaked, I, that I cloak on knots. <laughs> Kyo did most of the fur fags, did what most fur fags do on YouTube, live streams, advice about the fandom and other shit like that. To be fair, I'm actually, I'm actually subscribed to um, a um, furry YouTuber um, and... They are um, English ones. I haven't really met them, but they actually make quite good content. And the, um, the guy's like a autistic um, bodybuilder. And to be fair, he's, he's actually quite quite smart. It's like good 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 play, good play to him. Like he's actually quite successful. Uh, we got some videos here. Um, Kira discussing the loss of his boyfriend to drugs. Um, we, we, we're not going to do all that um, copyright shit. Videos that may uh, uh, videos that others made featuring him, as with most other fur tubers, Kira also did collaborations with other furries, including Magira Strawberry, who is considered to be the god of the furry fandom. I bet you she's not. He was generally viewed as doing nothing more than than another innocent furry YouTuber. When of course, we all know that it was a big flat out lie and there was a video deleted his rise to fame in the 6th of July 2017 following several years of no one giving a shit about Cairo Shane Dawson that other fucking idiot chose to do an interview with him o over how the furry community was supposed to be like this was this was the result of Ashley Zoe Fox, a friend of Cairo, discussing about furries to Shane and paying him to do the interview after Cairo has agreed to do it. During the interview, Cairo um, talked about how his so-called lifestyle and his jobs at and his job at a Applebee's and, and other shit no one cares about. So it's just another boring interview, really. Of course there was no mention of Cairo fucking his dog as this info was kept hidden and we all know that Cairo didn't want to didn't want anyone finding out about out uh, finding out his his secret about him. That could have been worded a little bit differently, you know. Finding out his secret. So there you go, you did it better for you. As a result of the video Cairo went from having ten thousand subs to ninety thousand subscribers. Kyra also decided that he was going to start doing YouTube full time and quit his job at Applebee's shortly after. To be fair, you could, you could actually keep your job and earn a bit more money on the side, but oh well. By the earlier parts of 2018, Kyra has reached over 100,000 subscribers, but his victory was very short lived. Shortly after the initial leaks of Kyra being a, a zoophile came out, however, Shane privatised his video with with Cairo, which indicates that he knows about what happened. I told you, like Shane Dawson is fucking dodgy. Lelikin in. This is what he looks like. There's a picture of him on the right hand side of the screen. In September of 2018, leaked screen caps of Cairo's private Instagram conversations were posted onto Twitter by a zoo file using the handle Zoodinium. As a result of a massive leak exposing a depraved zootatist 
paedophile sex ring within the fairy community so a zoophile actually leaked <laughs> information like that okay they're ratting out their own people a group which Kyra happened to be part of rather than properly turning the info over to the police that person decided to create some lulls instead why didn't you just send it to the police instead of dragging the shit out after people saw the leaked screen caps millions commented wondering what the fuck was going on although some initial pictures of what happened to be Cairo in with tattoos on his body fucking a dog were proven to be someone else yeah I don't think he has tattoos I'm not quite sure later proof would come out that would show how fucked up Cairo really was in the process of this all happening, Mr. Medica uploaded two videos regarding the leaks that came out, explaining that even if Cairo was guilty or not for, not, or not not furries that were responsible for fucking with with the animals present in the evidence provided. In the initial statements to the public Cairo denied having any involvement with the Zusadist network which, which the leaks has impacted him in. He claimed not, not only that all the messages attributed to, attributed, attributed to him appearing in conversations spanning a period of about two years were completely faked but that's his Instagram account also was hijacked by a Iranian super hackers from Iran. No, that that didn't happen. That that did not happen. What the fuck would Iranian super hackers? There's no such thing as super hackers. They're just hackers. It's <laughs> a country while where Telegram was banned since June last year. See, they can't even get on it. In a bid to prove his innocence, Kyra uploaded a screenshot to Twitter showing his active session, active session's history on Telegram, a story which is believed upright until the very next screenshot he posted where an icon indicating an active VPN connection is seen in his phone's status bar. I wonder if that was NordVPN he used. I've actually got that on my phone on my computer, it's like running right now. I'm actually in France right now, but don't tell anyone that. <laughs> Le he he would later go on to admit that that he simply pulled the image off of a Google off of Google in an interview with a morbid, morbidly obese man wearing a Rick and Morty T-shirt. Ricardo was or, would also backpedal on statements he had given mere hours earlier, completely changing up his entire story for the camera. God, he's just burying the lies, he's just burying the truth in other words. Hmm, there's um, there, 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 there's, there's our lad right there. There he is with his nipples. There you go. Strange he can show like male nipples but you can't show women nipples online. Never got that. They're the same thing. But flower. Uh, where was I? Um, the truth came out. Comes out as people waited for the truth for Garden Cairo to come out. He he arranged a couple of interviews with Kofox and Ashley Zoe Fox in a bid to clear his good name for all the animal rape allegations. In a video he did with Ashley Zoe Fox, Cairo offers his latest revelation of the truth, stating that his involvement with the zoo crew was limited to being interested in feral artwork and that 95% of the conversations shown in the leaks were fabricated. The seal suggests that there are some percentage of the logs that, that are in fact real. Oops. The pathetic truth is that that Cairo, Cairo's fellow Zudadist snake thing has simply de decided to give away his login details to a complete stranger. You've got archives, but we're not going to bother with that. Without ever thinking about of the life-changing consequences of the follow of of the fellow full of fellow perverts, he had been exchanging messages with. 
below are the screenshots of the many fucked up things that Cairo said on Telegram. We're actually going to like look at these um, in a minute. So I'm going to pull them up. And we're going to look at them soon. Okay. Allegations begin. Following several weeks of lulzy filled fighting in the furry community, Many were shocked in in horror when the tweets consisting of side-by-side -side comparisons between Cairo's garbage, garbage and the garbage in one of the videos of the animal being sexually abused were posted. A location was also discovered to be one of the places where Cairo's now dead dog Coda has has seen in was seen in. Aside from that, chat logs revealed that Cairo admitted. To the logs being real and the conversation between him and Snake Thing, the leader of the Zuzhadist group, did take place. He also admitted to someone on Telegram that he went by several names in the zoo community, including Yami, Azon and Smol. Following this, Cairo put, put his Twitter account onto lockdown out of butter of knowing that he was fucked. He would have been shitting himself by then. So is him right though. He also disabled comments on his Instagram because he didn't want to admit um, that he was in reality a zoophile. Evidence of Cairo be being involved in an animal abuse site by the name of ZooX18 started showing up where it went under the name Neo004. Cairo later reopened his Twitter account only to lock it down again shortly afterwards. Kiwi Farms has documented the allegations of the accusations against Cairo with many with many of the members wanting him to be imprisoned. Current status No justice for Cairo. Despite major amounts of backlash from even within the furry community itself, Kaya is still being able to live free without justice or rep reputation or, or retribution for his crimes. A group of furries who formerly called themselves Fur Avengers have sent evidence to the police. They're basically like a paedophile sting operation thing, pedo poachers, that sort of thing. They have already managed to get the leader of the group Snake Thing Power, Power Word Levi Simmons and Cuban counterpart Ruth Power Word Ruben, wherever that is, sounds foreign, arrested. Charges for Snake Thing, however, were dropped and is now due, due to the setake of limitations, where there is only momentarily that Kyra himself is arrested and he will never be arrested for that sort of thing he'll always find a way to snake himself out of it it just shows how slow the American justice system really is and you're paying your taxes for the American justice system and they're really that fucking useless it's just like the our justice system over here in the UK they're fucking worse than useless over here makes you want to stop paying your taxes really doesn't it the law steps in. On November 2018, on the 8th of November, however, Coe did admit on Twitter that he was now under police investigation and has started to be taking the, the situation seriously. He has issued a apology for essentially fucking over an entire fandom and promises the truth and explanation once he, the investigation will be over. It will be ongoing, trust me. Kyo currently is ignoring the situation and not co cooperating with the police, which he fucking should be. He is also blocking those who want him to come clean and turn himself in. RGB9000, one of the few remaining defenders of Kyo, states that he is now under legal adv advisement not, not to be posting anything publicly. We hope sooner or later this fuck will end up in prison and only time will tell. Cairo leaves the fandom. After two months hiatus which in which Cairo was absent from all social media, he was he announced on the thirtieth of january twenty nineteen that he was leaving the fandom, according to his long ass statement on Twitter. He states that the toxic mindsets and 
and the witch hunts against him in the community were pro pr primarily, pr primarily the reasons behind him leaving. It wasn't a witch hunt, they just wanted you arrested because you're a paedophile and you're a zoophile. He also stated that he would delete most of his social media. This would, he would keep his YouTube channel up because it brings, it brings so great, it it brings great great joy to some. Despite, despite what what he said, however, he continues to be active on Twitter while purging mu much of his tweets in the process. Cairo's return on March twelfth, twenty twenty one. Cairo decided to return to YouTube, which he proceeded to bitch about how he didn't do nothing and is a good boy. Of course, nobody beyond a few mentally retarded simp's, who also are likely paedophiles or zoophiles, same thing, believed him. Likes and dislikes were disabled on new videos. Comments were heavily censored. After whining about how everything was being faked he began to upload the usual shitty cringy fur fursuit shit a uh, fur he, he was also he was known for before being outed as a dog rapist uh, we've got the gallery right here we're not interested in that see also uh, all, all that lot um and we got the main accounts the um his social medias his the telegrams and all the other bullshit other accounts we got that and we got um, sources of information about him as well um so Kylo the wolf is part of a series on fur faggotry Kylo the wolf is part of a series on bad things that happen to animals Kylo the wolf is part of a series on youtube also part of a series on dying alone and part of a series on eight chan mm. mm. next we have these pictures so Basically, he says, um, sorry for not responding last night. I passed out, but yeah, I am okay with necro stuff. If it's not that bloody, I am totally against killing for sex. I only do it with a roadkill. Well, we know that now. Snake Thing says, I understand, hun, hugs, and that's okay. And Kyle said, it's all good. I just wanted to tell you. Okay, so he admits to fucking dead animals. Uh, there's a cow farm up the road and I'm tempted to sneak over there and see if I can find a good good spot to finger some cow's butt. Yep, they fucking... Okay. <laughs> Alright, he says in this one, we need to double team that dog. Well, that's already a red flag. Snake Thing agrees with him and he looks forward to his real first time with a dog. And Cairo v responds, I wish I could help. And um, Snake says it's okay. You're okay, hun. And there's no rush on his end. When the time comes, he'll eagerly look forward to it. And Cairo responds to him saying that he'll love it and you'll find other people to do it with. And he's lots of cringy hearts and shit. So in this one, um, I'll bring the other one up as well. So Cairo says, I got new fantasy relating for, and Snake says, oh, what does it involve? Cairo responds with, swallowing baby n mice and other small animals. Oh, God, no, 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 no. <laughs> Snake responds to, you adorable bastard. Um, Cairo said, I've also swallowed, a I swallowed a worm before, and I love, oh, he really swallowed a mouse hole? That sick fuck. That's animal abuse, that is. Snake says, Naughty, imagine swallowing a last S snake. Snake will probably eat you first because I know what they're like. Kai responds with, That would be hard, only do small things. And Snake responds to, I know. I can imagine it will be fun though. Kairo responds to, It would be hot if someone was fucking my mouth if I had a mouse. <laughs> oh Jesus. The kinky cunt. Cairo says in this one here, so nice. I've been, I've been in with a fox once, but I, I loved it, um, and that he's been in a lot of doggos. Really, why would you admit this sort of stuff? Anyone can screenshot this like now. Snake says um, you've been in a fox. Um, Cairo says yes, he was dead though. Okay. 
Snake said if it was still good, and it was apparently. I got to play with his throat and fingered him. Or oh. and um, Snake says, "Oh, I suppose he come to that, didn't he? I suppose he came to that." Kyra says the fox's throat is so tight and it feels amazing. Yes, and it'll be terribly fucking dry and it could have cut your willy off. But to be fair, we can all live and hope. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that that was um, Kyra the Wolf, the sick fuck paedophile zoophile. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be explaining what will be going on with the, um, in the temporary future of these Encyclopedia Dramatica readings. Um, I'm not interested in what Kyra is doing now. I don't think I ever will. I want to keep all well away from people like that. Um, but tomorrow um, will be an update video and um, I've no idea what I'm going to do Friday but I've got a few vlogs that I want to do in the, um, on Friday so I think I'll get one to do so if you like this video give me a like and subscribe and if you want to support me on your left hand side of the screen it's a link to um, support me um, and I'll see you guys next time